Amen. Amen. Because we are in a year of bearing fruits, I want to see those cars. I want to see those houses. I want to see you as a blessing to your family and to your neighbor. Don't forget that God, when he blesses you, he, don't, he does not bless you only for your family. There are, there are people who are poor around you, isn't it? There are people who are very much poor. Others are standing on the road. If you go everywhere, you see people on the road here asking for money. It's very painful. And uh, we Christians, we are known by love. And we need to give to them. Amen. Amen. With this for few minutes, let's read Acts 4. I remember to tell you chapter 4. Verse 13. Verse 13. Acts 4. It is chapter 4. Verse 13. Verse 13. Now, when they beheld the boldness of Peter and John and had perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. And seeing that the man that was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. Amen. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, say, what shall we do to this man? Amen. Look at this verse. What shall we do to this man? For that indeed a notable miracle hath, have, have been wrought through them is manifest to all that dwell in Jerusalem. And we cannot deny it. Amen. Verse 17, but that it is spread no further among the people. Let us threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. And they called them and charged them not to speak at all, nor to teach in the name of what? Of Jesus. 19. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it is right in the sight of God to yearken unto you, rather unto God, judge ye. For we cannot but speak the things which we saw and heard. And they, when they had further threatened them and let them go, finding nothing, how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorify God for that which was done. <clears throat> okay, let's read. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I was reading this uh, this morning and saying trusting God for the message of today. And then I don't know if I'm going to preach this message right. Um, I'm sure you have never heard me say something like that. Because uh, you know, I think I was asleep or I don't know whether I was asleep or what. I was told that I must speak with you about the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. The authority that is in the name. One, another word of authority is power. That is in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You know, the moment when I get that revelation, I begin to think that we might be not knowing how powerful that name can be. Because here where we are reading now, you can hear the Sanhedrin. They are the problem. They were a problem because they saw a man who was almost 40 years. Who was healed. 
Afrodisha. But heal in the name of Jesus. Afrodisha, Jesus. And another thing that was happening to them was number one. When they look at these people who did that, there were two things in them that they, sh- number one, they were shocked of them. They were shocked, number one, by the confidence they had. Peter and John, they had confidence. In other words, you could not even shake them. Even if you can just say you killed them, just say, I don't care. It shows that the person who need to use this name must be confident. Another thing, they understood that these people were not educated. Therefore, it does not need any education or any standard to use this name. And later they realized that these people were with Jesus. The difference with the understanding they had, which was known by everyone that Peter and John were with Jesus. Because it's only when you are with Jesus that when you use the name of Jesus, you see results. But the Bible says, they call them when they called them, it was because of the attested miracle they saw. And then, when they questioned them, when they see confidence they had, and they could see this miracle existing in front of them, which was clear by the name of Jesus. They say we cannot deny this miracle. In other words, the name of Jesus brings out the result that cannot be denied. Ah, even if we say this has not happened, this man, you can see him. We know him. And more so, every Everybody was glorifying God. The authority in that name brought a miracle that cannot be challenged. Tell me the, 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 the miracle that cannot be challenged. That cannot be questioned. It comes from the authority in the name. The name Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And they question and they ask themselves. The Bible says. They went forward to say, please. After they conferred let's tell them that they must not speak about this name. They must not even preach about this name. Because when they speak, ah, they attract people. They they there will be results. That is where the Sanhedrin were supposed to be seeing that what's happening with this name than just to say be silent, don't talk about it. If you can question the Sanhedrin that were there 2,000 years ago they will tell you that it is not easy to use the name Jesus. You need to be with him. You cannot use it. With, you need to be with him. Because they knew they have never been with him. You remember that the Bible says in Acts 19, they are children, the sons of Skeva. They tried to use that name. And demons overpowered them. They, were, they could not find results. Because the authority in the name was not in them. In Acts 9, 
from verse 1 to 5 you see one man called Saul he got authority he just got authority by the letter and he was approaching Damascus, Damascus with the authority of a man and the Bible says he met authority from above. When he looked up, he saw Jesus. And the lightning that hit him was coming from Jesus. In other words, when you say in the name of Jesus, you are talking about the authority that is in the name of Jesus. Or that you are talking about Jesus himself. Because if you see here, you see Jesus speaking with Saul. Saul who was persecuting Christians. Jesus said, You are persecuting when me. When you are fighting Christians, you are fighting people. Because when they call in the name of Jesus, I become one with them. And when I become one with and them, then, when you fight them, you are also fighting them. The Bible says when he appeared, the lightning came. It makes Saul to be blind. Problems happen there. Amen. And people around began to hear voices. But they could not see anyone. But you could see the authority from Jesus. Which Jesus said it that it is in my people. Listen to this. The moment when you use the name of Jesus. You are using Jesus' authority. And when you use Jesus' authority, you are bringing Jesus to the place. This authority in the name makes you to be changed to be like Jesus. The moment when you say, in the name of Jesus, that authority transforms you. You who fight, you see Jesus. That is why Saul said, who are you? And Jesus said, you are persecuting me. When you are persecuting those Christians, you are persecuting me. Because they are going in my authority. Listen to this. From today, don't fight Christians. When you fight Christians, you are fighting Jesus. Leave Christians as they are. Because whatever they do, they don't do it by themselves. Listen, it is impossible for you to favor another Christian you another. Because whoever is using the name Jesus receive the same authority that transform him to be Jesus whether you like him or not. Therefore the authority in the name of Jesus makes everyone who use the name of Jesus to be Jesus. I don't know if you can, you, you I can understand that. The authority that is in the name Jesus. Christ, it transforms you spiritually and make you to be like Jesus. So the same result that Jesus produced you have to produce that. No wonder Jesus said, those who believe in me, what I have done, they will do. 
But because I go to the Father, they have the got authority which is the same which was in Jesus. And because they believe, they share the same authority in the name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. That authority makes them like Jesus. And produce the same result, the same way Jesus produced. I don't know if you are hearing me. You know, this is the message that I was told I must come and tell you. One of the reasons why we are not producing the same result. If you believe if you believe that Jesus is in the Father. He spoke about it. If you believe that Jesus is in the Father. If you remember, this is when Philip asked a question. I will show you the scripture. Because Philip was questioning Jesus. He was saying, Jesus, why all the time you talk about Father, Father, Father? And then Jesus said, I feel like you want me to show you the Father. You are seeing me. But the Father is in me. And I'm in the Father. I don't know if I can give an example of this. Can I get three people here? Three people here. Let me show you by this example. Maybe you will understand because I pray, Lord, that God... How can they understand what I'm preaching? Look here. Come, sister. Come here. This one is you. This one is Jesus. This one is the Father. So in the ministry of Jesus, he was always talking about his father. I don't know if you hear me. The results he was producing, he was producing by the authority he has received from where? So now Philip said, show us this father because he has been with us telling us about this father. I want to tell you why Philip said that. He knows that Jesus, if he called the father, something happened. Remember the time when he was approaching the, the tomb of you Lazarus? You remember that time? He, he said, Father, father. Did Jesus say, Father, something happened. I don't know if you are hearing me. So he said, Philip said, show us this Father. Look what Jesus said that day. He said, Philip, are you seeing me? Eh? When you see me, you are seeing the Father. Because I'm in the Father. And the Father is in me. That's why you see, if you don't believe in that, believe by the works that I do. The works that I do shows that I'm in the Father. Okay, look here. These are ones. The same Jesus. He said, Philip. Peter. Peter. Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Okay. Look at me here. Me and you. We are one. By believing. If you believe in me. You'll be one here. Together. We are one here. And look at this because you believe. You will do what I did when I was with the Father. I don't know if you are hearing that. You will do exactly what I did when I was with the Father. But he said, look here, Philip, Philip, you and me we have got connection by believing. And our connections makes you that when I go to the Father, you will be left doing what I have done in my name. So I 
will be one with you and I will be one with the Father. So if you believe in me, you have joined us here. So if you pray here, the Father will give you whatever you want. But you must use my name and the result that you will get will be the same result of the one that I have done. Go and sit down. Look here. The problem is we don't understand the authority that is in the name of Jesus that makes us to be one with Jesus. And that authority we get it by believing. Do you believe Jesus? The Bible says even demons believe. And they are trembling. Let me show you the scripture here. Maybe you will understand what I'm saying. Why today we are failing to produce what he has produced that can make the world to be sure. Why? We are playing with the authority of Jesus. Now, I have to tell you why we are failing to produce what he has Read from verse eight. Eight. Maybe you will understand when we are we are reading. John fourteen from verse eight. Yes. Jesus, sorry. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father? And the Father in me, the words that I speak to you, I do not speak of my own authority. But the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father. And the Father in me. Or else, believe me for the sake of the works themselves. This is the, the thing that I'm trying to elaborate to you here. Let me show you uh, in 1 Corinthians 5. I'm praying that God must help us today. I'm praying that God must help us today. Because I believe we are failing to produce the same thing. Can you read from verse 1? Verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. Can you read from verse 1? From verse 1. First Corinthians chapter 5. From verse 1. It is actually reported that there is sexual immorality among you. And such sexual immorality as is not even named among the Gentiles. Yes. That a man has his father's wife. And you are puffed up and have not rather mourned that he who has done this deed might be taken away from among you. For I indeed, as absent in body but present in spirit, have already judged as thou I were present him who has done this deed. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when you are gathered together, along with my spirit, with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, deliver such a one to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that his spirit may be, may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. You glorify, you are glorifying is not good. Do you not know that a little living leavens the whole lamp? Stop there. Here, Paul, More Paul now was telling Corinthians why they don't understand the authority that is in the name. He said to them, Among you, 
it seems you are using favor o ka re le ya di dum le ho berekisa favor o ba ho ratana if you are not using favor why are you living this moral people why le toela batho ba ba o dia tsa bushula bo ga ralena there are some people here who are very wrong that you need to deliver them to to satan bona le batho ba ba di tsona le thoka o bantsha le ba ise o satan when satan is dealing with their flesh they As can repent and their soul will be saved ya bona ena ba ta pholoswa la mme ya bona ya pholoswa then compromising with these people o fitish tsho re le tswa ka nya dilo le na le batho ba he said that if you deliver these people are jona ga le ka tshi ya batho ba la ba lokola la ba isa o satan satan will attack them satan no to shuma na le bona ba attack now they will be crying their soul will be saved jona ba to la ba wele tsha mme ya bona ita pholoswa He says this sexual immorality has you know, never happened anywhere. But it's happening in the church. And you are failing, failing to remove. If you are failing to remove such people, know that I'm also there in the spirit. When you meet in the authority of the name. Do you know that the authority of the name Jesus It brings visitations that other people cannot see. Let's go to the Holy Spirit. Jesus is the same way. The Lord, but we are not going to be able to see. You know, when I was reading this, I began to understand that there are some people there here that we don't know they are here. There are angels here. There are some people who have visited us. Here. Who have visited us here. There are some people who have visited us. Here. There are some people who have visited us. But if we play with the authority in the name it affects us to be blind we compromise we fail even to remove the wrong people but there are wrong people around you you cannot associate with them today in the office there you know i was like because you know i know these people who are in the prophetic they are very dangerous so i was with this lady there she was telling me something that i was with this lady there she was telling me something that nekena le se so mwambo tsa dilo tshe dingwe but later when we were talking she said jona kamara wa re sabolela re there is someone is sitting here is saying this ona le motho shudu tsia na mo u bolela gore she was talking about the visitation she says there is someone here a bolela re ona le motho And this person is talking and I said this is what is happening in church when you are not hearing anything how i now sub whistle don't ever think other people are not hearing oskana no ba ba nwa ba kwisilo because if you play kar ha ora luka with the authority wara luka ka taelo because this authority brings someone like paul far go van into ya taolo it is some to mo le kholo o swana le paolo and be part of our service here and you don't know a taolo ya service ya rene botse re satse ebe not long uh, i think is last year e se khala ke tsebo ka re ke ngwa ho fit someone was telling me that he was taken to another church mo ra ka o mpudi tsa re na o tshere ya greke ngwe and the man there is a prophet and mo na wa kwa le na le mo prophet he said When the prophet was standing here prophesying he was Or sitting he here But everybody was not even seeing him You are not alone there's a visitation The problem you are playing with authority If you call the name of Jesus There's a great visitation It, Don't ever think you are alone Jesus says I will never leave you off so we can cast it all the chuana I will send holy spirit to come to you Whatever your situation is known by someone See I must go see to work him to move There's a visitation that you might be despising Oh when I go go so che le thogo Listen you must know that the power in the name Or on the mata le bicho Do everything Ah ka diang se sengwe le se sengwe Ah ka change chang see mo sa bophilo Can take you somewhere when you are here Ah ya wena we sa kai kai wena I know some people. They can go to America when they are here. I don't know if you are hearing me. I get some lento. I know some people. Even in the Bible. I know Philip. Get some Philip. 
who after he met a man Kamara in the desert, after he left Samaria, Kamara and Samaria, the Samaria was Samaria. on fire, and, Samaria and everybody was talking about Philip, he was a hey, little revival, there's a man who's going to Ethiopia, oh, I want that man to be saved, run there, and after he obeyed, by living revival, where everybody was talking about him. him. He obeyed God. When he reached there, the Bible says, when he finished with the man, oh, when he just finished, the Spirit of God took him to another place. To another place. Look how Jesus can work. Look how Jesus can work. You can go to America without a visa. You can go to Kenya. You can go to Kenya from poverty. We are undermining the authority. We are just calling Jesus as a format of prayer. Most of the time is when we finish prayer, we and say in Jesus' name. You become serious when you call the name of Jesus when you are in danger. That's why you will say, Oh Jesus! Because you are in danger, and nobody cannot help you. But there is no thing. That God can do when you are not in danger and you bring many to God when they see what you are doing through the name Jesus the authority in the name can make you to be in the same government that the Lord Jesus Christ had when he was alive you are not a loser if you are still able to call the name of Jesus you are not a failure you are still able to the name of Jesus. You must understand the authority in the name. Therefore, listen. You must never blame anybody and say this person is the one that is making me not to live the life I'm living. You've got a mouth. Your, 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 the word is in your tongue. Life and death is in your tongue. Authority is in your tongue. Many times we are looking at other people with questions. Why these people? Why they are prospering? Why, why I am suffering? Look why here. Like here, here. You've got authority. You can change your life today. You can change your life today. You can talk things. But the authority, if you understand it, you can change everything. I can give you an example. This man came to Jesus and he said, Jesus, my servant is sick and I love that servant. I don't want him to die. But he's at the point of death. Jesus said, I'll go with you. I'll go with you now. This man said, hey, sorry, sir. You are a man under authority. When you speak things happen, you don't need to go with me. There's no distance between you and the situation I'm facing. You are under authority whatever you say it come to pass Jesus said oh my God I've been searching for this faith people who understand how, how I operate such people are few this man understands how I operate I wonder you believe in Jesus but you don't understand how you operate listen is how you operate you are supposed to operate that way you must speak things and you see the reason if you believe shout hallelujah, hallelujah. this is a problem we have today that you, you have to sit down like this when also you do like a I said, go away. It's like I'm seeing you sitting on top of it. You know, we people, we have got ability of bringing out tears. We just have to sit down and change our faith around us. And later we say, 
from there say but go why from there you, are, you breathe like you have got asthma from there Satan say I got it. Actually, the, the Satan he doesn't understand ah, the authority that is in the name. He doesn't understand. I will ah, deal with it. You need to stand up and say, me, I believe Jesus. I'm not used to failure. I'm not. Because I'm working with him and I believe him. If I call the name of Jesus, it is no longer me who lives, but Christ who lives in me. When I speak, things must happen. But look what happened in the night when you know. Many depression you have. Many worries when you question. If you understand authority in the name, oh, you will just say, Oh God. You will speak like Him. I know you always hear me. But I'm just praying for the sake of this. So that people must learn prayer. But you always hear me. Because you are able to do above what I think, what I ask. And when I speak or ask you to do it. But look what is happening today. You are not different with the heathen. God. Are you going to answer me? But why? Let me try to tell you what happened. There was a time whereby when I was beginning to learn that I was a pastor there. Poverty was everywhere. If I'm given a lift, I'll be with my wife and the children of the person who have got a car. Have you ever find that, you know, when you're a man, your husband and your wife, husband and your wife. If, if someone is driving, okay, the wife must come and sit with the wife at the bedroom. Ah, mo I was even worse than a woman. Nan ne ki fiti sat ntwe ka ni tsim. With my wife. With the children of the people. Leba ana ba ba tswa na ba. Ba feeling lift. And in a long distance they sleep. And a long distance we are over. They sleep on top of us. Ba ro ba lo di marina. We carry them because we have been given a lift. Ka ba ne re feel lift. I I told mama. Ka bo tsa mama. One time I went home. Ja tshile le nwe nkile ka ya. The last day I went home with the train. And it was, you know, on the 24. The 24, the 25. And that train will travel the whole night. We are sitting like this. And the whole night, the train. Not having a cent to go to with the taxi. We are sitting like this. And the whole night, the train. Not having a cent to go with the taxi. We are sitting like this. And the whole night, the train. I found all of us were inside here. We did pay. We did buy tickets. And I was thanking God that. And I didn't buy a ticket. Ah, but you know what happened? That was the night. Ah, but you know what happened? That was the night. Ah, but you know what happened? That was the night. Ah, but you know what happened? That was the night. Ah, but you know what happened? That was the night. Ah, but you know what happened? That was the night. Ah, but you know what happened? That was the night. Ah, but you know what happened? That was the night. Ah, but you know what until God gives us a car. I'm tired. I believe God. And these people are laughing at me. We don't go home until God gives us a car. We even forget this is Christmas. There was a time when I was going with Mama somewhere there at the station of Oliphant Station. I found people carrying bags. I said, what's going on? They say, it's Good Friday. I said, oh, is it Good Friday? We even forget. There's Good Friday. There's New Year. There's one one. Even people of 
of the family Le forgot us. When we were walking, he said, we will never go home. Until God give us a car. We will never go home. Until God give us a car. We stood on it. Until we had a compound in the back. 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 Until we had a I can see there is something that is about to happen in your life. I believe it will happen this week. You have been waiting for a long time. The authority in the name of Jesus is about to produce what you have been waiting for. I say it's about to produce. Because they are looking at you. They say shame. That day, Chachilelimwe, our neighbor, who was always talking bad, Nadula Walela Chai, saw me parking a BMW. I wanna keep a BMW. And there, there was no one was a BMW. And us namuto nangli BMW namo. What God gives you, Satan will never take. It. No one can compete it. No one can rob it from you. I want to prophesy you. Today, when you use the name Jesus, there are results that will shock your neighbor. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I said there is something that is coming. Nobody has ever had that. Nobody has ever received it. The only one who's about to receive in the name of Jesus. You're the only one that you're going to receive in the name of Jesus. I see a car that I've never seen. I see a house that I've never seen. I've seen finances that I've never seen. It must start by you. I see someone being used by God. It has never happened. It has never happened. It will start by you. The authority of Jesus is about to enter you. It is about to enter you. And people, they will never see you again. When they look at you, they will see Jesus. Jesus. When they look at you, yes, you they will see Jesus. Yes. They say, Ah, how come? How come Makananisa, who was born in Matombi, Jacket, do this? You know, I've been hearing people say, hey, I travel, I travel. I say, Hey, me, I cannot talk about that. To me, it's not fishing. It's not fishing. God has done more than that. Let me prophesy something. There is someone here. When you call today in the name of Jesus, you will do things that nobody. Nobody in your family, nobody in your family, nobody in your village, nobody in your city has ever done that. I'm saying a raise. I'm saying a raise. Because the time you've been waiting for, it has come. You must not doubt the name Jesus. Even when the angel pronounced it to Mary and said, Mary, that child will be called Jesus. He'll be different. His kingdom does not end. Even you when you are blessed, the blessing does not come to an end. You can stand up. You can stand up. use the name Jesus. With the authority when you present Satan must fall. Amen.
We have been praying for you. This time, you must speak something. Something will happen. If there is anything in you that you sense Satan might be holding it and using it against you which is sinful. You can run here, you confess it by yourself. Today when you come here, come and kneel here. You can come and kneel here, you confess yourself. If there is anything that you feel, after you tell God, just kneel there. And tell God. Kneel and tell God. Don't look at anybody, you go there and say, God, what is limiting me to your power is this. Confess and tell God. When you finish telling God, stand up and come back. When you finish, come back. God is waiting for you. Tell God, tell God, tell God. Tell God. And tell God and say, this is the thing. That devil is using to limit me. Tell him, after you speak, after you finish, I won't pray with you. You tell God. You tell God yourself. And say, I've got this. When I call the name of Jesus, the devil is using this. I confess it. I will never do it again. I will never do it. As you are telling God, he's hearing you. He's faithful. He loves you. He's faithful. He loves you. Tell God. Tell God. Tell God, why are you failing to why produce the same results? Why are you living a life of failure? There is something that you need to tell God by yourself today. As you are telling God today, He's here, He's here. Can you play something, Andres, when they are telling God? When they are telling God? When they are telling God? When you finish, you stand by yourself. Oh God. You tell him, I'm be merciful to me. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. Forgive me. I supposed to produce the same results with the authority of the name Jesus Christ. But I'm failing because of this. Tell God, tell God. God loves you when you are telling him. When you are telling him, he's forgiving you. Pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God. Oh, Father God. Akiri kimufu tana. Akiri kimufu tana. Uriche. Una Akiri Koroyana Akiri Koroyana Uriche Uta Ki Akiri Ki Mufutana Akiri Akiri kimu futsana uriche unali akiri koroyana e akiri akiri koroyana
Yeah. 